Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is my first video in a whole lineup of tutorials that I'm gonna be doing for Final Cut Pro. And in today's one, I'm gonna be showcasing to you guys that are very much beginners in the Final Cut Pro space. So I'm gonna show you a very quick tutorial on how to do the basic functionality to get your video edits perfect. So that includes putting in some clips, adding some music, adding some text, maybe some transitions here and there, and ultimately just rendering a video very quickly. So this is a very, very basic tutorial for beginners. So if you're very much intermediate or advanced level editors, then this might not be the video for you. So if you wanted to use this for the first time, this is perfect. If you've done video editing in maybe other applications such as Adobe Premiere and you're familiar with this type of thing, but you just want a quick introduction to Final Cut Pro, then this will be good for you as well. So let's just dive straight in. All right guys, so the first thing is to open up Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna be showcasing a few clips that I've got for a coffee shop. And the first thing you need to be aware of is the different panels that come into this uh, viewport here in Final Cut Pro. So on the left hand side is where you have your library of all of your media. This is where you import all of your clips and pictures. On the right hand side, you have your inspector, which is basically where you can change your settings and filters and colors and that kind of stuff for your clips. The preview panel is there in the middle and at the bottom you have your timeline. So the first thing you need to do is go to file and new event. Now I'm gonna be showcasing this on a Mac but it's very much similar in a Windows environment. So you have to give the event a name which essentially is a collection of media files. So images, videos, audios and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to call this coffee shop and you can leave everything else uh, as default. There's not really much else you need to do. Now the video resolution can be adjusted from here. So if you wanted to maybe output something in 4K, then you can change your settings here. But 1080p in this resolution is pretty much default, and I'm going to click OK. So now we have the event name here. An event has to have a project associated to it so that you can add clips to the timeline. And this is where you can add a project. So all you have to do is give your project a name, let's say coffee shop clips, and you're ready to go to import. So what I'm gonna do is go to File and Import Media or Command-I. Now I've got my clips here. I'm going to import these four clips and there you have it there. So just here along the top, you have a couple of buttons. This button here, which is like a project film, is basically how you can change the view of the clips that you've imported. So if I do this, you can extend it out so you can see a little bit more of what's inside your clips. But most of the time you will have it right down to the bottom so you can see the full clip there to drag and drop. And this will adjust the size of the clips as well if you have a lot of media you're importing. So to add them to the timeline, you basically select it and just drag it down to the timeline there. You can also just press E to add to the end of the uh, current timeline clips, but I have only just one there, so it will just add it there. So for example, if I press the letter E, that will add it to the end of the previous one. And I'll go ahead and I'll do the same for all of these clips and I'll press E. So now I have four clips there in my timeline. Now you'll notice here that the audio is actually the same inside and embedded into the clips as well. If you come from somewhere like Adobe Premiere Pro, you have different layers. You have the audio layer and the video layer separate. Now you can do this and, and it sometimes it's quite useful to do that. But before I do that, again on the right hand side here of the timeline, you have some buttons here. So that project film button is obviously how you like to view your various things in that section. So with the timeline, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And then here I can show a little bit more of the audio rather than the video clips. So if I do that, this is how it will look. And I think that looks perfectly fine. And you can also extend the timeline or reduce it as well to see how much you want to have there in the view. So let's just leave it about there. Now to get the audio and the video separate, all you have to do is right click and detach audio. So there is a shortcut, you can select multiple ones. It's Control Shift S. And now you have the audio layer and the video layer separate. So now you're ready to go ahead and do some uh, editing. Now, if you do select a clip on the right hand side panel here, this is where you see all of your filter and coloring and clip setting options. Again, at the top here, if you hit the project film icon there, you'll be able to select multiple different things you can do with that clip. So if you'd like to zoom in, let me move the timeline here so I can show you. You can actually change the scale, maybe zoom into the clip a little bit more, keep it as um, default, rotate it, 
maybe if you want to crop a bit of the video there like so so you can play around plenty of options here but I'll cover that more later so now what I want to do is I want to basically get some nice clips that seems fine it's about 12 seconds then I transition into this one now I think this is a little bit too long so what I'd like to do is cut this now if I wanted to cut a clip I basically select it now you have some options here this is what you can do with the timeline and the one you're looking for is blade or the letter B on your keyboard if you select that just hit where you want to cut it and then that clip becomes two separate clips and then just remember to go back to select which is A and then you'll be able to do all of the other adjustments accordingly so now this clip 2 is separated into two separate clips and all I can do is delete that one now as you see the audio has shifted below because that audio was connected to that original clip so now the other audios for these clips have moved across but for this purpose I'm going to showcase how to add your own background music as well and most of the time you can just delete the audio layer and add your own audio as well so I'll delete that now what I like to do is have multiple layers as well for b-roll footage now b-roll footage is just some extra footage that you want to play in the background of your actual entire movie and that's what this clip is for so I just want to have maybe um, a few seconds of this clip here on top of the other clips so I'm gonna do command B which is the shortcut for blade and I'm just gonna maybe have that much there and I'll drag that up above to the other ones and I'll delete this and then finally I have this final clip to end off with which I think is a little bit too long so I'll just maybe end it there so cutting and separating your clips very easy now what I'm gonna do is command I and import an audio file this is some nice smooth music that I'm gonna put into the background of this so the audio is quite long as you can see this clip is about 45 seconds or 50 seconds in total so I'm going to adjust this to maybe bring the last 50 seconds roughly I'll just drag it in and then I can adjust accordingly here so put it underneath your video clips and then you can now adjust by dragging the audio just so that it ends perfectly in line with the last clip and there you have it and I'll just drag that to the beginning now the audio layer has this horizontal line there which gives you the adjustment of the volume so you can move that down if it's a bit too loud and have that maybe at the right level so that's perfectly done now and then what I'm going to show you on the right hand side here you have this pane which is the transitions pane so you can uh, add as many transitions as you want in between the clips now I have a lot of custom transitions that I've downloaded as plugins but have a look at the ones you have as defaults play around with it and see what ones you want to add in between each of these clips so for example I'll take the cross dissolve and I'll put that into the first one and then maybe I'll have this flow one which you can preview like this into that last transition there this other panel second to last there on the right hand side is effects now if you do have any custom effects like myself then you'll see them all in here but this is where all of the default effects you can find if you wanted to maybe change how your video looks then you can do that by dragging and dropping this on top of the clips as well so I won't cover effects in this one but just the basic stuff here and lastly what I want to do is showcase how to add some text so on the top left hand side you see this button here with T you select that that is the text panel now there's a whole bunch of premium ones that I've downloaded for myself you might not see all of these but you'll see a default list maybe I'll just grab basic 3d and I'll add the text there and you can extend how long you want the text to appear in your video as well so I'll just drag that a little bit longer hover over it and I can see that's how it appears all I need to do is just select the text clip double click inside there and I can adjust the text and just type coffee shop there we go and it will animate accordingly if you wanted to change the font or the sizes everything you do is on the right hand side here for the clips the text or the audio all the adjustments you make is there so you can change that as, as accordingly as you like so let's go ahead and see how this looks no. see pretty smooth pretty awesome and finally 
what I want to show you is how to render your video. So once you've made all of the adjustments, you've played around with the text, you've added transitions and effects, then all you need to do is on the top right hand of the Final Cut Pro window, right there, you hit that and then hit master file. You can also render this straight directly to YouTube if you wanted to from here, but most of the time I basically export it as the master file, which will give you the resolution that you've done this at the beginning of the project creation. So hit this. Now everything's pretty much ready to go, but what I like to do is one final check is going to settings to make sure I've got the correct resolution, the correct codec, and you can choose between it encoding faster or looking a little bit better. So I choose to uh, have the better quality one, relatively it's still quite fast. Hit next, choose where you want to save it, click save. And to see the progress on the top left here, you'll see the progress bar here. You could select that, open up a little window like so, and you can see it will start sharing. Once this is complete, it will open up the video file and then you guys can uh, have a look at how your movie is. And that pretty much covers the basic tutorial of setting up a few clips, cutting them, adding transitions, adding background music. I'm gonna cover a lot more about audio in a separate video. I'm gonna cover a lot more about effects and advanced transitions and a whole load of things. So hopefully you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on all those awesome Final Cut Pro tutorials that I've learned from starting off on YouTube a couple of years back. And I know you're really gonna like it. So make sure you subscribe. Now let's go ahead and see how my entire movie clip came out. Right, guys so hopefully that was useful for you if you are starting out with Final Cut Pro I know it might be a little bit tricky but trust me once you get used to it it's going to be so easy and you're going to love using it if you do get stuck for any reason drop a comment I'll try to help you out as much as I can until next time guys take care